Hello, it's Nancy here. Today I am creating a card using the Hampton Arts Christmas Tree Stamp and Die Set. And I'm creating a square card for the Simon Says Monday Challenge. So I've got a blog post and I describe all the supplies that you're going to need. And today I'm going to walk you through a video. So this is what the stamp set looks like. And this card is going to be square, so it's, I'm going to cut it um, to be 5 inches by 5 inches. So I've got an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, and I'm cutting it at 10 and then at 5. I'm going to then um, crease it in the middle at 5 and fold it across with my bone folder. And that will create my 555 card. So the next thing I'm going to do is create the uh, piece of cardstock that I'm going to use for the sentiment. And I'm cutting that at um, 5 inches and 1.5 um, inch. My little, I'm using a piece of scrap paper here and it's not quite. Uh, even, so I'm having to um, even it up a little bit and I have to turn it from side to side. In my blog post, I list in the supplies washi tape and I used washi tape on the gold card, but today I'm doing a silver card and I don't have any silver washi tape, so I'm going to use this piece of vellum and um, cut it down at five inches by about one and a half inches and I'm going to use that at the bottom of the card instead of the washi tape but you could certainly use washi tape if you have it. So the next step is to um, stamp out the trees and emboss them with the gold embossing powder. Now I have done this already and I'm just showing you an example. I'm using my anti-static pad to um, rub all over the black cardstock so I don't get glitter where I don't want it. And then I'm going to stamp it with the Versamark ink. And as you can see, my Versamark pad is very well used. Um, although it's discolored, it still works just fine. I did a mass production of this card, and one day I stamped out all of the trees and embossed them and then cut them out and then the next day I assembled the cards and that process worked really well. I'm using an ultra fine uh, glitter em embossing powder and then I'm heat setting it with my heat tool. Now I'm going to create the sentiment and I'm using the Lawn Fawn Toboggan Together stamp set and I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas. I'm going to take my anti-static pad, again, rub that all over, and stamp the sentiment with the Versamark ink. Then I'm going to use a white embossing powder to emboss the Merry Christmas sentiment. Now I'm going to assemble the card, and I'm just laying it out here, trying to decide exactly where I want to place things. As I mentioned, I'm using vellum, and vellum is difficult in the product that you use to adhere is going to show through. So I'm going to use a piece of Be Creative tape and place it at the top of the vellum and then cover it with my sentiment, and hopefully we won't see the, the adhesive. I've been blogging now for a year, and this year I'm going to work on trying to enhance my skills with my video products and also my blog posts. So watch for, for new blogs and let me know how you like them and new videos. I'm going to use some 3M mounting tape to adhere the trees and the sentiment to the base of the card. And I'm doing this so I have a little dimension on top of the card. I place the trees underneath the dimension and then I'm going to finish the card by stamping out some snowflakes. And I'm using the snowflake that's in the 
Lawn Fawn Toboggan together and I've got some Brilliance dye ink and I'm going to just stamp those uh, snowflakes out. And I had to change my my battery went dead in the camera and I had to change it out and I should have focused the camera again so it's out of focus here for a few minutes until I realize what's going on and then I get it focused again and you'll see a better picture of the card. The uh, silver ink is not picking up on the, the video very well either but you'll see it in the picture of the card that I took. So if you like this video I hope you will give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and maybe even share the video uh, with someone you know. I always like to finish my cards off by putting my initials and dating it um, so that I can see my progress through the years. Um, I've been doing this now for about two years and it's fun to go back and see some of the first cards that I made and, and see the improvements that I'm doing. So here's the picture of the card and I've got all the information on my blog regarding the supplies and I've got some links in case you're interested in purchasing the products. I hope you'll go do something creative today. Thanks for watching.